Retirement's often painted as this idyllic life that we all aspire to. We work hard for decades and then we have this life of leisure, a long stretch of beach, playing golf on a regular basis, nothing to worry about, no more stresses, just fun for the rest of our lives. Well, if only that were true. In this video, I'm going to explore five harsh realities of retirement that you need to consider if you're thinking about doing it. And for some people, there is the distinct possibility that retirement might not be the right option. I've read that 40% of over 55s have quit the workforce since the pandemic. That's a big number. And for a lot of them, there are some harsh realities of retirement. There are things that lie in wait for the unprepared. And in this video, I'm going to explore five of them. I'll also explore in this video some alternatives to full retirement. These are things that have worked for me and have ensured that I've had a very happy retirement since I packed in work at 44. The first harsh reality that I discovered when I retired at 44 was a loss of identity. My identity was inextricably linked to my work. My name was on the door. I was Nick Ma of Hitchener Ma, a recruitment company. And when I retired at 44, who was I? What was I then? I took it quite hard. For a while, I was in the doldrums. It took me some time to figure out what I was going to do with myself. For a lot of us, we make a career choice when we're in our early 20s. I know I did. I was only 22 years of age when I fell into the recruitment industry. And I stayed in that industry all the way through to age 44. So for me, my identity was very closely tied to my job and the thing that I chose to do at that young age. I think it's the same for many people. I come across accountants, lawyers, doctors, surgeons, who are all tied to their corporate identity. They're a surgeon, they're a doctor, they're an accountant, they're a lawyer. And when they're not that thing anymore, they feel a sense of loss. But all is not lost. Just because you've been one thing for 20, 30 or 40 years doesn't mean you can't change direction and do something else. And I'll talk about that later in the video. The second reality of retirement is it can bring about financial pressures if you're not careful. When you're working, you have a certain income and you get used to that income. And unless you've managed to prepare yourself for retirement with good pensions, savings and the like, the shock to the system of no longer having that income can be enormous. The obvious solution to that dilemma is to cut your expenses, cut your cloth accordingly. But that's not always easy. When you're used to a certain type of lifestyle, how can you suddenly transition to a new one that involves losing the things that you're used to? Later in the video, I'll give some tips on how you might be able to overcome that just by using your knowledge alone. The third harsh reality of retirement is social isolation. If there's one thing that work gives many of us, it's interaction with other human beings. And that is a really important thing. It's something that can be missing completely when you retire. I found that the people I worked with vanished when I finished work, which meant that I had to make a huge effort to dig out some new social connections, meet new people and make new friends. And for some, that's not easy. But here's the reality. When you've retired, the chances are that you're gonna be very much on your own unless you've lined up your ducks properly. There are gonna be no more coffees around the photocopier. Is there such a thing as a photocopier anymore? I'm sounding a bit dated here. But the reality is grabbing a coffee with your colleagues is gonna become a thing of the past. Even those corporate lunches that I got used to back in the day, especially on a Friday, are all gone. And it's really hard to transition to a life without that kind of thing. The fourth harsh reality of retirement is that your mental health can take a real battering. Taking into account my previous points, it's very easy to sink into depression, very easy to sink into low mood. It's particularly hard here in the UK when we have our dark and wet winters, and I found it hard. After the honeymoon period when I retired in the summer, when I spent a lot of time, as I've mentioned in other videos, 
with my young son, going off on holiday, watching him play cricket, all those sort of things. Once the dark nights and the poor weather came to the British Isles, I sunk into a mood. So I found retirement very difficult. My mental health suffered. However, I was able to pull myself out of it and move on. The fifth harsh reality of retirement is the emotional adjustment. It takes quite some time to adjust to retirement. I found that to be very much the case. I don't think I ever fully adjusted to it until I was well into my 50s. I was still yearning for some of the things that came with work. Eventually I was able to put those things behind me, but for a long time it was tough. And that's the reality of retirement, especially if you haven't given enough thought and preparation and planning to what you're going to do once you've retired. That was very much my case. I retired as a knee-jerk reaction to the death of my father a year earlier, and I didn't really give it a great deal of thought. Retirement had never been in my plans, and suddenly I was retired. Retirement is very appealing, but there are other options. You don't have to fully retire. You can still retire. I guess that depends on your definition of retirement. My definition of retirement is quite simple. If you spend 20 odd years doing something full time, 100%, like me, running a business, and you're not doing that thing anymore, then you've retired from it. It's no different from a professional footballer no longer being a professional footballer. They are retired, but they go on to find something else to do, and so did I. That is the solution. The way to overcome the harsh realities of retirement is to find something else to do that ticks off those five harsh realities and mitigates them. I've chatted with and I've helped a lot of people over the last 10 years overcome this big challenge. What to do when you're no longer that person who has that identity, solicitor, accountant, doctor, recruitment consultant, surgeon, whatever it happens to be. And the answer for many of them is to set up a small business, consulting, just a one man business, using their knowledge to help and educate others, or maybe set up a small business selling something. My wife, she's got a small business. She sells products on Amazon and Shopify. It doesn't keep her occupied more than a couple of days a week, but it gives her a, a sense of fulfillment and a sense of doing something, which can often be missing in retirement. So that's my piece of advice. Find something else to do. Don't go into full retirement. If you like, call it semi-retirement, call it what you will but just do something one or two days a week. I had a good role model in that sense, in that my father, who retired at 56 after 30 years as a police officer, he retired to become an advisor with a firm of solicitors on police matters. He didn't work more than one or two days a week ever. He left plenty of time for golf, holidays, playing bridge, all the things that he enjoyed, but he still needed that sense of purpose and that sense of identity that staying within the legal profession gave him. And that's my advice to you. If you have some knowledge that you can share, share it. By all means, do it in a way that suits you. For example, I enjoy making these videos. I found YouTube to be a great outlet for it. But for you, it might be different. My friend Andy isn't so keen on this kind of thing. I think he keeps telling me that he's writing a book. Maybe you can write a book. Maybe you've got a book in you. I haven't, I prefer video, but find your outlet, find the thing that suits you. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day. I hope this has helped you in some way. If it has, please leave a comment below. And if you have any questions based on this video, leave those in the comments too. Thanks very much and I'll see you next time.